Hello everyone and welcome to week number three of the foundation module. I'm Marilyn Arnone, your guide through the foundation module. At this point, you've already done your needs assessment and established your broad instructional goals. You've also completed an instructional analysis and so you should know what steps and possibly sub-steps are involved in teaching the content that you'll deliver. You've also identified entry behaviors and learner characteristics. And given that you've accomplished these first three steps, you're ready for step four of the seven-step instructional design process for online learning. And that step is writing your learning outcomes. Learning outcomes are what the learner will be able to know or do as a result of your instruction. This could be a change in knowledge or skills or attitudes, or it could be a combination. This week, as a result of completing the instruction on learning outcomes, you'll be able to write good learning outcomes, and you'll be able to align a learning outcome with an appropriate learning assessment. That was two outcomes. We'll just touch on assessment this week. Well, next week, our whole focus will be on assessment. This week, you'll also be able to use Bloom's Digital Taxonomy to help you select the action verbs that best represent the level of thinking skills from lower order to higher order that you want to invoke through your instruction. Let's get ready to work on learning outcomes.